Uh, clear, <laughs> clearly bikini weather, Shannon, based on that video. Oh my goodness gracious. Those are some brave people. I do not advise not only not going out in your swimsuit, but don't go out with any skin uncovered as you go through the night tonight. If you're going to be out and about, it's going to get dangerous so much so that our friends at the National Weather Service, happy Saturday night, by the way, everybody, blanketing the area with a wind chill advisory. Now, it's already in effect for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, but it will go into effect in just about half an hour or so at 6 o'clock. Uh, until Sunday morning for the rest of the viewing area. It is going to get downright nasty cold, dangerously so. Wind chills inland could reach near 30 degrees below zero, and we are not alone. Most of the Badgerland covered with that wind chill advisories with wind chill warnings in the central part of the UP. Meantime, outside right now, beautiful clear skies. I mean, if it weren't so cold, you'd say, Gosh, that's just a lovely postcard of a shot. Downtown Milwaukee, your weather headlines on this Saturday evening. Get ready for those wicked winds. With a polar plunge in temperatures, combine those two and the dangerous wind chills will be in effect tonight. And then set us up for some Sunday sun as high pressure builds in. Well, temperatures outside across the neighborhoods, generally in the single digits and the lower single digits at that. Heartland, good evening to you. Three degrees there, four in Pewaukee and Waukesha, four as well in New Berlin, five in Tosa and four in Glendale, Bayshore Town Center there. And down to the south, similar readings in the middle single digits. A little warmer by a degree or so in Racine and Kenosha at six. Five in Union Grove and Pleasant Prairie at the outlet malls there. And four at the National Weather Service office in Sullivan up to the north. Even colder. In fact, flirting with zero right now in Sheboygan County, Elkhart Lake at one above. Also in Plymouth, two above in Campbellsport and Oakfield and two above in Waupon. Well, that's a huge change from just 24 hours ago. The temperatures have continued to plummet. How much so? Anywhere between 10 and 20 degrees colder than this time yesterday. And we've had huge wind gusts today to 44 miles an hour in Fondy. 40 mile an hour wind gusts in Waukesha and a 45 mile an hour wind gust officially in Milwaukee's Mitchell International. Wind speeds continue to be very strong outside right now. Gusty to 22 miles an hour in Waukesha. Sustained winds of 20 miles an hour in Fondy and 15 miles an hour in in Milwaukee. That sets us up for wind chills right now in the 20 below zero range in Waukesha, about 12 below in West Bend and also in Beaver Dam. Here's a look at future wind chills. We go through the nighttime hours tonight and by tomorrow morning, we will see those wind chills drop to near 30 degrees below zero without much improvement as we go toward the beginning of the work week. Satellite and radar combination showing the strong northwesterly wind flow. The skies clearing out as we have high pressure in place. That high pressure should provide us with more sunshine as we go through the day tomorrow. And then a little disturbance could be here in time for Monday. But your storm team forecast for tonight. Look for those readings to drop down to a low average temperature of six below zero. Wind chills 25 to 30 below. It's going to be windy. Clear skies though. Lots of stars out tonight. And then for tomorrow on your Sunday. We start out with those wind chills to 25 below zero. Could see a lake effect snow shower from Milwaukee through Racine and Kenosha counties. Otherwise, just partly cloudy to mostly sunny and bitter cold with highs only recovering to about 10. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. And well, there's a little bit of recovery in the temperature on Monday and into Tuesday. It's still well below average, but at least we approach 20 degrees. Unfortunately, the bitter blast returns by Wednesday of the upcoming work week. We could see temperatures returning to near zero or below from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Much more ahead right here on today's TMJ4 Live at 5. Rod Burks is next with sports.